Hi, this is Lisa with Coping with Yarn, and today is day 24 of hashtag 100 days of Halloween. And this is a countdown to Neva with Manic Mama Musings, Potiversary, as well as Halloween. And um, I am in a collaboration with a bunch of gals, and we are either doing movie reviews, um, watching scary movies, Halloween movies, anything like that. Uh, making Halloween makes and or some facts about whatever we're watching <laughs> or just Halloween in general or something like that. Um, everything's a little different. Uh, so today is a movie review of Scream 6, but it's Scream VI, which is in, it's in Roman numerals. Um, it's, this was made in 2023, says brand spanking news on Amazon Prime Paramount Pictures, I think, or Paramount or whatever. Um, so this was directed by Tyler Gillett and Matt Bettinelli Olin. So no, um, and it said for Wes, and so I think it, I wonder if Wes Craven passed away. That's what I'm wondering, because he was the creator of all the screams. And it took a different twist to it. And this one still has a tie. Um, they mention uh, some of the characters. And um, let's see. The cast is... Okay, so basically it's the same characters that were in Scream... Five, but it just had Scream. It was like the remake. It was 2022. The one I talked about in Day 23. Um, so it has Jenna Ortega, or Wednesday, from, she's in Netflix. Um, Melissa Barrera, Hayden Panettiere, and Samara Weaving, and Jack Champion, and Courtney Cox, and Mason Gooding. And, um, yeah, so... It's funny because it was like, there are a couple of killers. <laughs> There's always at least two killers in each of, two ghost faces in each of them, right? Well, this one had more, and like the killer killing the killer. It was kind of funny. Um, but uh, I think there's going to be a Scream 7. I really do, on how it ended. Um, there was a tie-in to the last the last um, movie that was made so I like that part of it um, plus of the originals the tie-in still to the originals um, so this was the four survivors of the ghost face murders leave Woodsboro behind for a fresh start in New York City uh, however they soon find themselves fighting for their lives when a new a killer embarks on a rampage. <laughs> killers of killers. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I liked it. It was good. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So I finished. I did not work on my Halloween project because I went to Seattle this weekend with Hannah. And we went to a Aberdeen. And we went to Gig Arbor, Harbor and stayed with um, some good friends. And we had a good time. Hannah had a good time. Um, we went to uh, Kurt Cobain's childhood home. We saw his childhood home. And then where the river, where he used to uh, sit at. And yeah. It was cool. Good times. Good times, for sure. It was nice. It was a nice... Um, the drive was not so nice. I drove all night. <laughs> I mean, it took forever. I just kept driving and driving. We finally got back at like 10.30 at night on Monday night. And then next morning was my first day of back to work of an eight-hour training. Ah! It was hard to keep my eyes open. But the cool thing is, I got to crochet. And I got to finish my um, Annie's Caring Crochet. I finally got to finish my hat. And guess what? I got to do it in the training. So that was a plus. Um, 
yeah, one thing with working with therapists and all that is that it's really cool with the trainings. There's like a, a thing of fidgets. <laughs> There's a box of fidgets. They're like, if you need to stand, go stand. If you need to sit in the bean bag, go sit in the bean bag. If you need, you know, uh, there are snacks there. Whatever. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I asked if I could crochet. She's like, heck yeah, you can crochet. So I crocheted this while I was in the training. Yeah. Because I had to redo it, I had to start all over because it did not, I had to make more rows of this because it didn't fit. It was like, like that. It was really weird. And it wasn't just, I know I have a big head. It wasn't just my head. It was everybody else's head too. Um, and it just didn't fit. So I redid it and it fits. And now I can give it to Rogue Retreat because um, I'm, I know there are veterans there, and so, yep, I'm gonna stockpile uh, some makes before I take it in so I can have, you know, something to give. Um, meanwhile, I am starting to work on, and I had, to, I had to redo this too, this bag. It was like a day of remakes of Annie's Carrying Crochet, but, um, do I even have, let me see if I even have the, no, I don't have it in here. Okay. So I don't have it with me, uh, but it, it's a really cute bag that has like a little flower on it. Anyways, that's what I've been working on was this yesterday in my training. I did not work on any crochet projects, um, while... I was visiting because we were at Seattle. Oh my gosh, parking? Are you kidding me? We had to pay like 30 bucks to park, $60 just for parking for one day. What the heck? I mean, seriously, it's ridiculous. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense to me at all. I, I don't know. It, it's insane, but whatever. We went to Mopop, and Hannah got to see all the, uh, like, Kurt Cobain. There's Jimi Hendrix stuff there. There was, um, there were horror movie stuff there. So I had to take a picture of uh, some of the things in the horror movies. Um, like, some of the facts. <laughs> but it's not updated. Um, like, on Freddy Krueger, of Jason, of, like, different killers like that. So I had to take a picture. Um, anyways. Oh yeah, the Scream. I think they only were up to like, I don't think they had the last, I think they only had Scream 4 up there. <laughs> They're not current. Uh, but like Friday the 13th, um, they had him in the case. I don't know. There was like, and they swap out because last time, last year when we went, I remember taking pictures of uh, the puppets, the puppet master, the puppets and the puppet master. It makes me laugh so bad. I remember when I was a teenager watching um, the puppet master and I had gotten my uh, wisdom teeth dug out, all four of them, like dug out because they weren't even grown in yet but they're bugging my mouth so I had surgery and I remember like oh my gosh it hurts so bad afterwards and I remember I was watching Puppet Master and I started laughing and then it made me cry because it hurt so bad from laughing <laughs> I don't know it was a vicious cycle <laughs> anyways had a great time Ooh, okay so um, instead of Google Maps, I found, I was told about a way by my cousin. Oh, I got to see my cousin too. I got to spend the night with my cousin and, um, my aunt and my uncle and, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so she told, my cousin told me about the app Waze, W-A-Z-E, and it's like Google Maps, but it's so cool because it tells you when cops are at like trying to like when cops are sitting there trying to trap you and so it told you like 
watch out, cops. Or it tells you, like, if someone's on the side of the road, like, watch out, vehicle on the side of the road. You know, it tells you all different things. Oh, and alternate routes. It'll just say, hey, take out, because I'm not used to traffic like that. You know, like in Portland and Seattle and all those. I'm not used to that traffic here in Southern Oregon. Not at all. I, I, I swear there's like eight lanes across, nine lines. I don't know how many. There are so many lanes. Like lanes of people. And we're in Portland and uh, it was traffic hour. We're stuck in traffic. And so it gave us an alternate route and I took it. So I got off an exit and I went around and it took me back onto the freeway, but like where it wasn't congested. <laughs> so it was really cool. I liked it. Anyways, it made it like 15 minutes faster or something like that. And um, we still got back pretty late. But. Okay, enough about that. Cause I got a lot of catching up to do. I'll see you soon for day 25. All right, bye guys. And be good. Oh, okay, I'm going to show you. I forgot to tell you that. I got happy mail from Cindy, but I'll do that on the next one. Okay, bye.